Definitely. Thank you, Alex. And those temperatures proved it. Summer is just around the corner, and that means people are starting to worry about their summer body. And remember, you're beautiful. Be kind to yourselves. Well, this can lead to a lot of stress, anxiety, and even depression. And that's why UW Health's distinguished psychologist, Shyla Mergain, is here to talk about how you can start the journey to a better body image. Hello. Hi. So instead of that building that beach body, building a better body image, it's so yeah. important. And we find that so many people are struggling, both when men and women, especially women. We find as early as 13 years old, uh, those children are about 53% are experiencing um, lower body satisfaction. And by adulthood, about 80% of women are dissatisfied with their body and their implications for well-being. Yeah. And I know even when I'm looking at Instagram or whatever, I see photos of these like really ripped bodybuilders and it makes me feel bad about myself. Is social media still a big factor of, of this? Absolutely. There's studies that show looking at a magazine or social yeah. media after even a few minutes, around 80% of people are feeling worse about their body. And there was one study that showed for women, they're exposed to 5,000 negative body images per year. Mm -hmm. And I think for men, there are so many images about being stronger or being, you know, more yeah. ripped. And that can also be really hard for men too. So obviously we look at our phones every day, but are there practical things we can do to make us feel better about our bodies? Yeah, it's the most important relationship we have and really building that mind-body connection. First, think about the function of your body, what it does for you. It's really quite miraculous what your body allows it to do versus the, the form. So in that, really practice some gratitude. You might thank your legs for allowing you yeah. to walk. You might thank your hands for allowing you to write. You might thank your eyes for allowing you to watch this segment. And thinking if that was removed, how your life would be worse off. So it really helps keep it in perspective. Yeah, yeah the body can do amazing things. The fact that my heart is beating right now and I'm not telling it to do so, that's pretty incredible. Um, and so, you know, what else, you know, when it comes to the mirror, how can that help us? <laughs> well, we often look in the mirror brushing our teeth mm -hmm. or washing our hands after using the bathroom. We can use that intentionally to just pause and look at one thing that you appreciate. And we find, for example, a, a loving kindness practice of just saying, hey, you know, I'm grateful for you yeah. or I love you or just be kind to yourself, you know, say you're doing okay, thank you for what you're doing. And it really helps form a different kind of relationship because often we get so hooked in negative thinking mm -hmm. and criticism and it flips it into what's right, what is good enough, what is working well. Yeah. And obviously if, you know, sometimes it's hard to break out of that, even by ourselves, that negative image, you know, is there ways to kind of get help outside of that as well? Absolutely. You could do a little journaling to your body as it being a separate uh, piece. And if you are struggling with disordered eating or a lot of intrusive negative thinking, getting professional help, working with a counselor who specializes in body image or eating issues can really do a world of wonder. Yeah. And it's not just about summer, it's about loving yourself all year round. Absolutely. Absolutely, you know, and if we can foster a healthy relationship with our body, move it in, in healthy ways and eating nutritious food, we're going to really, um, really build that overall well-being that will carry us forward into the year ahead. Good advice to remember. Thank you very much. Thanks for, for having you. me. Yeah.